Hey guys, and welcome to another Lego Blender tutorial. In our last video, we talked about rigging a minifig. Now, I want to get to animating that minifig and, and giving him a little, a little walk, but before we do that, there's some animation concepts that uh, I want to introduce you guys to. Let's put that to full screen. The concepts are pretty simple, so I'm just gonna gonna go over those by demonstrating with this standard blender cube. Now, for our first simple animation, let's say that we want to get this cube to start at point A, go to point B, and end at point C. How would we do that? Well, it comes down to frames. Now, that's frames per second is something that you're probably all familiar with. Uh, it's in video games, uh, animation, everything. Um, the standard frames per second is 24 frames per second. And down here we can see a timeline and a little number in this left hand corner. If we move this green bar along the timeline, we'll see that number increment. Okay, so that means that every time that this little bar moves, one more frame goes up. And if we're using 24 frames per second, this length here, from its starting point to here, is one second. And again, from here to 48 would be two seconds, or an additional second added on there. Okay, so let's say that we want the cube to move from point A to point B in the length of one second. Well, if we just move it there now by hitting G and dragging it along, it's not going to be moving at all. It's just, it's moved location, but it hasn't, uh, it hasn't moved at all. So we'll go back to its original starting place, and this is where the rigging comes in. We talked about rigging in the last video, and we're going to just... Uh, do some very simple rigging here. Hit Shift A. Make sure your your cursor is uh, cursor to selected. Hit Shift A. Add armature single bone, and we'll just uh, resize it there. Now we want to uh, go into pose mode, and then we want to select the cube, and then Shift select the bone, and hit Control P. Set parent to bone. What this will do, if we go back to object mode, we can see that the cube will now follow the bone. And that's going to be useful when we add what's known as keyframes. So, we're going to go back into our pose mode. We always want to add keyframes in the pose mode. And then we're going to, we're one second in, so we want to move this to point B. So we're going to, again, hit G, drag it along there. And then we're going to hit the I key. And the I key will allow us to insert what's known as a keyframe. So we're going to insert location rotation. Don't worry about the different options right now. All right, now this number in the left hand corner has gone uh, an orange color. And we can see on our timeline, if we drag it, that uh, we now have this yellow bar. So that means that we successfully entered our keyframe, but the cube still isn't moving. And that's because we have yet to add a keyframe at the starting position. So if we, we want this to start at the starting position. So to reset it to its origin, we're just going to hit the N key, and we're going to pull up the options here. We're going to go to Transform, Location, and we're going to reset this to 0, 0, 0 and that will bring us back to our starting location. Now we need to insert our first, our starting keyframe. So we're gonna hit the I key, insert location rotation, and again, we should have immediately seen a few things change here. And if we go to our timeline, drag this along, we can see that a yellow bar has been added, and there's two yellow bars, and the cube between those bars will be moving. So there's our first animation. And again, just to drag, to hammer home the point, we'll go, we'll increment another second, another 24 frames, and drag our bone 
which also drags our cube to what I called point C. Now we're going to insert another keyframe and again another bar should be added and now the uh, cube will uh, will move along those points. Now if we want to animate this we can go into our uh, camera mode by hitting zero and we see it's going to move. Now here's our frame range so it's going to start animating at frame 1 and it's going to go to frame 250. We don't need it to go that far we only need it to go to uh, let's say 49. So this is our end frame and we'll click on it and punch in 49. See the shaded zone here has kind of leaped backwards and that's the shaded zone uh, will not be rendered. Anything that isn't shaded will be. So when we hit animation it should render away with the starting point and then uh, move on. The last thing is we don't actually have to render it to test out our animation. What we could do is we could hit Alt A and that will loop through the animation uh, just in our, our view here without having to render or worry about lighting and all that kind of stuff which will slow down the process so if you do an animation and you just want to test it hitting alt a uh, will do the trick for you okay and if you hit escape it will stop that loop alright there's a couple more concepts about animation that I want to get into before we start talking about the uh, minifig walk cycle but I hope this video was a, a very simple basic introduction and I apologize for everyone out there that already knows all this information but I want to make sure that everybody's at the same point alright in our next video uh, there's just uh, one more one more concept that we'll go through which is the dope sheet in blender alright thanks guys for watching and be sure to subscribe